within the church. Today I'm excited because I want we're uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Guy Wire, which is one of our men's ministry here. And to do that, I want to introduce to you Derek Churchill and the one and only Scott Chapman. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Great. So uh, Guy Wire started about nine years ago, and uh, usually when uh, usually when we start talking about men's ministry, some of the guys are like. Oh, just the morning and like group study, you know. Uh, tell us a little bit about it, because I know that's not what it is. Right. So, well, Guywar is a men's ministry that is uh, not your typical men's ministry. It is. Uh, it's been a, been quite a journey. It's been a. We are in a place we didn't expect to be when we started this up. We thought, uh, you know, we thought it was going to be the usual. Have an event, have a men's breakfast, schedule, have some food, schedule a speaker, repeat, repeat, repeat. God had something else come And uh, along the way, it's, uh, it's turned into some uh, homegrown uh, conference events and great opportunities for, for guys to connect. And it's really, the whole guy-wide journey has been about, uh, I'm sorry, the whole guy-wide journey has been about connection, where guys can connect with God, and guys can connect with each other here at church. And but beyond that, it's also about uh, helping guys realize that God wants to be engaged in a daily life. Yeah, I'll just uh, talk about places we didn't expect to be, right? Uh, nine years ago, Derek and I were up here with Pastor Paul. This was a absolutely brand new thing. It wasn't tested. Uh, we had no idea really where it could go, where it was, where it was headed. Uh, now, with looking through the lens of nine years uh, and the lives that have been touched, I mean, I can look out here today in the first service and just see guys who have been active. And guys who have uh, come from the periphery, maybe just coming in and ducking out to guys who are fully engaged. And that's really what it's all about because you know what? Uh, men are influencers and men are leaders. And uh, GuyWire has this idea of collateral impact. So if we can influence a guy, if we can help facilitate a, a guy's walk with God, bring him uh, to a place of discipleship, that he influences his family, he influences people in the workplace, he influences people in his church community and in, in the community in general. And that's really what we've seen, and that's been a huge surprise at, at, at what we thought would happen and then what God had in mind. Cool. Is cool? So how are you guys engaging men? You're talking about uh, seeing men connect with God. Well, what is God Wire doing? How are you making that happen? Give us some, uh, give us some stories. So, Two main tracks have uh, kind of been the guy where I store. It's been here, and what you see, for instance, we're, we always call ourselves a theme-based ministry. God uh, gives us a theme every year that uh, allows us to see him in a different lens. And the connect event you see up here, and the 40-day study that follows it, that's really the heartbeat of the ministry. But this other track that kind of happens, happens in these outdoor spaces, that we hike track, uh, that has been a very organic uh, journey that has taken a lot of turns we didn't expect. And through that, uh, not only going to Hampshire, but God has made some connections uh, with the National Park Ministry, and that's allowed us to go into a missional aspect of that. Good. And that engagement level, uh, to kind of build on what Scott was talking about, the leadership piece, has actually led us to this fall. We actually went to the Rockies and uh, actually launched Guyana Leadership School. We brought a crew out there to uh, give them a four-day immersion in leadership, and so that they can go out and reproduce. So, so this is pretty active. You guys are climbing mountains. I know you went to Scotland. You're at, you're at the National Park. I'm getting a heart attack just thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a lot of exercise. <laughs> it's not that bad. Stop that. <laughs> So, yeah, I think if you look, if you look at some of the things that, that Guy Wire is involved, I mean, it started out uh, 10 years ago. This, this year will be our 10th uh, epic hike. It started out with just a... And the idea was, you know what, if, if we can get out of our day-to-day, -day, if we can get into a place of, you know, of, of amazing uh, God's creation, right? So, so get into God's creation, uh, tackle something that's tougher, physically perhaps than you do every day, but then engage spiritually in a way that you may not engage every day either. And what we've seen happen with Epic Hike is, is a growth that's been phenomenal. 
Uh, we started out with just a couple of guys going up to the AMC huts. Last couple of years, we've been pretty much selling out an entire hut full of guys. It's led to worship. Uh, we have worship. We have teaching. Uh, each day we have a devotional. And the whole idea, uh, ladies especially, is, is that when we ask to borrow your guy for an event, there's an intention behind that. There's a focus and a purpose. We're not just going off for the weekend and hanging out. Uh, the whole purpose of that is to, is to inject some adventure into our lives, do it in a place that uh, is in God's creation, and come away with a lasting connection, not only with our brothers, but a stronger connection uh, to God. And that's what it's all about. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So uh, if you're not an expert athlete and you kind of want to ease in the guy water a little bit, you got this thing called Connect, which I'm very excited about. I'm uh, really looking forward to it. Why don't you talk about that? So, as I mentioned a minute ago, uh, Connect is really, this is where the heartbeat of the ministry happens. And uh, what happens is, it, Connect is actually, we, we started calling it the experience, because it's not just a one-day event. March 28th kicks off a 40-day experience. And that 40-day study is what it's all about. We look at that as the most important thing that happens all year in God's work. It's 40 days where we get to unpack this year's thing. So connect is the ball rolling. We have talks, we have breakout sessions, it's a day of connection, engagement. This year's theme is called understanding. In a nutshell, it's all about how do we understand God more fully in this world, and how do we understand the world for our lives. And the big thing is this, wherever you are, wherever you are in your life, this is where we've been discovering is God has more to teach you, way more than you can imagine. And we're gonna dive deep in that, into that this year. Great, great. So in addition to the day, the teaching, the worship, and guys being together, uh, one of the highlights is your barbecue, right? You know, barbecue right in. I mean, it's going to be a great day. And so uh, if you want to join me at the barbecue, uh, <laughs> anything else you want guys to know? Is there leaving here? Uh, what, what do you want people to know about GuyWire that's the most important as they walk out of here? Very simply, that we're your ministry, guys. Uh, we're here for you. Uh, it is uh, it, it's a well-established fact that um, engaging men into a more meaningful relationship uh, with God is critical in the life of the church and for the uh, for the growth of the church. Um, and it's our mission to invest heavily in you, and we're here for you. Uh, I would say. The one thing that I would leave you with is, you know, just step out and do something that's out of your comfort zone. Take advantage of, of one or more of the offerings this year. Uh, see what it's like to connect with a group of guys who love God and uh, who you will become uh, uh, great friends with and, and you will begin to love. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a great ministry. So, cool. Look, hope for it. Hopefully, we'll, we'll, we'll get to see you soon. Good. Derek and Scott will be out in the lobby after the service. You can sign up for Connect. Uh, let's pray together. Can you do it?